Hey guys, it's Jake with Stone Coat here in Texas. Something I got to thinking about, a, a way that could help you when you're coming to your corners. Often I've seen a lot of guys when they do Stone Coat applications, it'll be rounded, a rounded edge, you know, like this. And that's okay, many people like that, they want that. Other people just don't know any different. But if you think about it, stone is really jagged and has a good edge to it. And so the, the, one of the problems that I first encountered when doing this is I had guys want to know, hey, how are we going to do this? How, how, how can we keep, keep it from getting rounded? So would, I'd take a trowel or a straight edge and I'd hit one side, then I'd hit the other. Some guys do that and it works pretty well. Uh, you'll find that you're always battling the other side, you know, because you always push too hard one way or the other. I found this corner trowel, which is a great, great deal. A couple of bucks, it works wonderful. Here's what you do. When you blow your stone on, as you're blowing the whole thing on, don't even worry about the corners. Come back to it probably 10, 15, 20 minutes later, or that, what are you doing? probably not an hour later, but 20 minutes later, when it's nice and pliable, but it's not going to fall off the wall. Come to it, start at the bottom, and pull up. That's all you got to do. Let that corner, this, this corner right here, create your edge. So you come in like this, just move in like this, and you come in like that. Give it slight pressure, because all you're doing is you're forming that stone. See that corner create? See that corner to that? So if you took that and you just and you brushed it, it would it would round off. Right here, it's straight. It's nice and straight. You take it in, continue on. Right here, you got to be careful going down because going down, you're always pulling on the stone. You got to be careful you don't pull the stone off the wall. But you lightly do it two or three, four times, it makes it look real nice. Now, here's the thing people say, well, it doesn't look like stone now, it's smooth. Well, it's a lot like. Uh, Furring out uh, uh, some joints on sheetrock. You kind of have to hide it now because if you'll notice this corner, you're making the corner here, but these corners are cutting in. So I have a line right up here, you can see. As you do that, now take it and just rub them out on both sides. And then come back with a kiss coat lightly, up and down one, two, one, two on each side, and you're in you're in the money. It's a perfect corner. And it, it, it brings that reality of what this product can do and, 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 uh, and also helps to show that uh, even this kind of stone, it, it'll help fool people pretty well. So uh, anyway, that's just an idea, maybe something to help you as an applicator. Uh, I know there's things I run into all the time. Another thing real fast also, let's jump over here. Here we did this wall. We've already blown it and whatnot. My guys come in behind me. And they'll teach you this most of it in training, but there's things that, if you don't notice, right down here, look. As you blow a wall, you'll notice that the stone, because it's clumping up, it'll always roll out like that. Okay? Now, this had a trench in there, so... But my hand, Johnny, came in with the straight edge and went straight down. Took it straight down. Now, I guess all you have to do is kind of rub out the lines. You know, you can rub, rub out the lines or whatever. Do a kiss coat on it, and it's a straight, straight wall. Go straight to the ground. It doesn't roll out and bring out that, that bubbly effect that some people would expect from this product. It's just another way to make this product look uh, like it should. Anyway, I'm Jake. Thanks for your time.